<laughs> Who here has been to a Toastmasters officer's training or mailing? Most of us, yes. If you'd been to the one in Kent at REI a couple months ago, you would have seen us sitting and waiting for the program to begin, drinking coffee, when I felt a hand on my head. I looked up, oh, a lovely young woman oh, was crowning me with a wireless microphone. <laughs> Hello, I said, in hope. <laughs> oh, she said in horror, <laughs> you're the other one. <laughs> ran across the room to a man of a certain age with receding hairline, turning gray. The keynote speaker, he was. I was the other one. I thought that was so funny. And I've told this story 10, 20 times and gotten two different reactions. Some people laugh. <laughs> you old fool. <laughs> You're the other one. Others were a little shocked. How dare she make assumptions based upon your appearance? And both responses are perfectly valid. Funny to you, not funny to you. And I thought, why is that? Why funny to some, not funny to the others? And I have a theory. This theory I call punch up, punch down, punch side. See, humans, we are pack apes. We unconsciously form hierarchies of power. We try to overcome this as civilized beings, but they're there. When a person with lesser power makes fun of a person with more power, a mouse frightens an elephant. A country rube, unlettered and unskilled, gets one over on you slick city slickers with your slick iPhones and your perfume-powered self-driving cars. When a child goes, the emperor has no clothing, that's funny. No one is hurt who doesn't deserve it. That is punching up. You might also have heard of punching down, where a person with more power it's a person with less power. I'm thinking of something which happened not in this room, but in this club. Not by me, but by a person with a similar power set of icons, a male and pale, gave joke of the day, which I predict you will not like. Do you want to hear the punchline? The punchline was, eh, women are stupid. <laughs> no laughs. No laughs then either. He was surprised. And Toastmasters is a supportive environment, so we all clapped. <laughs> Felt pretty weird. He was surprised because I know there are places where he got huge laughs from this. We have a political leader who mocks disabled people, and his crowd roars. Maybe they enjoy his subversion of societal expectations. Maybe they just like picking on people. I'm not going to tell you what to find funny. Wouldn't do any good anyway. And I'm not sure that every one of your audiences is going to have the same sense of humor as you. But does it make sense that you might want to consider how your sense of humor matches theirs when you plan your speeches. Punching up, punching down, or punching sideways. That's mocking people like yourself, or even yourself. <laughs> Funniest thing of all. When I was 20, my elderly uncle Terry said, Randy, inside every 60-year-old man. There's a young guy going, what the heck happened? That was so funny when I was 20. That was hilarious. <laughs> now I'm in my 60s. What the heck happened? I mean, what's this up here? These things under my eyes. The 
this chin if I shaved? I'd like out of this mask. <laughs> you young people laughing. You'll be here one day. It'll be funny to you. You can't help it. We are pack apes. We have these hierarchies, and age isn't a biggest hierarchy, but it's there. If you don't like it, blame Darwin or, or blame God. The ultimate punch up. <laughs> that day back at REI, I didn't intend to be punching down at a young lady who's just trying to do her job. She was not intending to make assumptions about a guy just because of my hair and waddles. None of us were trying to punch down. I tell this story on myself. It's punching up. An old guy laughing at himself. You'll be here one day. Don't be in a hurry. <laughs> and on your way to this lectern, think about how your sense of humor matches your audience's sense of humor as you write, punching up, punching down, or punching sideways. End of toast.